So now let's complete the purpose of putting these detail views down. We wanted to dimension what these lines were, what these shapes were that are cut out, this chamfer and this weird random cut out at the bottom left down here at detail C. So the point of this is to talk about, well, how do you dimension angles? And the answer is there's two ways. One is you could tell me both the height and the width. And there you go. And it turns out they're the exact same. Or you could tell me, well, let's get rid of this. So I'll right click, OK, and then I can get rid of it. And I could just put the angle itself down. So I'll click on this and this, and I'll get this 45 degree angle here. And the reason why this is so important to know is because if both of these are 0 0.06, then it has to be 45 degrees. And if this is 45 degrees and this is 0 0.06, then they have to be equal. In other words, I cannot have this angle in this length and have this other line be a different length. I can't have these things true and make this distance here, if I were to dimension it, I cannot make that distance different. It's impossible, and that's kind of the idea. And so you could do one or the other, just not both. And so on this one, we could do something similar. If I wanted to know the total height here, for example, and I wanted to know the smaller height, and then I wanted to know the widths here. I could dimension the whole width and the little width. So I could do this and this and get the entire width. This would be correct. Telling me, let me move this over here so I can see it better. But this would be correct telling me all the distances because I cannot have these four distances and change this angle. Or I could delete one or one of the distances and say the angle instead. So for example, this angle, well, let me drag it out here. This angle right here. I cannot have this angle and these distances and make this distance different. In other words, I'm now double dimensioning it by adding this. You have one or the other, not both. And that's how you dimension angles. Now looking back at detail B, we can see that it's a chamfer. We can see that it's done three times. So I can add that to the statement here. I can add that in here. I can double click on the sentence and I can add that, write that in. That there are somehow I can type this in here like we've done before and add this is true or true for all chambers or something along those lines. Just adding it just to make it to where we know that it's true for all chambers, but I won't. But just know that you could make that statement. And these are just some details that you can do to dimension a part and make it very clear everything you need to know about a part. And in fact, all the things that we've done in the past few videos are things that you could do to make a part well, more well-known. And this is why when you look at a completed drawing, a working drawing, you see so many details on it because there's so many little things you need to know about. But hopefully now you can look at all these random things written on here and kind of understand what you're reading, why it's there, why it's important, and of course how to do it yourself or at least kind of get the idea that you can do it yourself.